Yo, what it do, you know what I'm saying? DJ Chase back with another helpful tips on becoming a DJ. Okay, today we're gonna talk about the top five mistakes that DJs do, you know what I'm saying? So, number one is don't get too wasted on your gear, you know what I'm saying? You never wanna get unfocused or you never wanna get too drunk where you can't DJ and then that's a bad look. That's a bad look. I mean, it's cool to take a few shots, like one or two, and that's probably about it for me. Like, I don't really drink, but you don't want to get in that mode where you just get drunk, you too lit, and you can't focus on what you're playing. You might, you might start playing some BS, or you might just forget where you at and lose total focus, and then the promoter's looking at you like, hey, bro, this dude get too drunk, bro. Like, this is a bad look. Or um, future clients might see you messing up, you know what I'm saying, or just looking horrible, you know what I'm saying? So that's the one thing I try to avoid, like never get too drunk. Sometimes you might, some people might get lit to DJ, you know what I'm saying? Cause some people, some DJs drink to get the butterflies out their stomach or the anxiety, you know what I'm saying? I understand that, but they might overdo it and it becomes a problem. So that's probably the first point that I'm gonna make, never get too lit. So let's get to the second point. Second point is what I see a lot is DJs run the same mixes. Like I don't really go out, I don't really like watching other DJs mix. That's like something I don't like doing. So if I go out a year ago and I come see you like five months later and you still running, if I know your mix and I heard your mix already, you run the same mix, that's a problem. So number two is never run the same mixes or the same songs in order that you always do. I know people got their routines, but switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Play it. Skip songs. You might run the same 10 songs, but mix the 10 songs up. Your mix should never be predictable. Some people run the same mixes, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like a a lazy, a lazy point, like that you don't practice or you the crowd, the crowd know your mix. They probably know what you're gonna play before you even play it. So that's a that's a no-no. You wanna keep people guessing what you're gonna play next. Catch them off guard. Never be predictable. That's pretty much what I'm saying. So that's the second point. Don't run the same mix. So Let's go to the third point. The third point is very important. Never overjudge your crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, a good example is saying like, do your homework. Cause some DJs be like, playing rap music with a white crowd. I'm not saying it's not wrong, not right. But I'm saying, if you had a white boy DJ and you playing rap, kind of tend to the songs that they like, you know what I'm saying? But most of the white bars, they like the old white songs, you know what I'm saying? The top 40 songs. The top 40 hits from the last 10, 20 years in rock songs. So do your homework on a crowd that you're gonna be DJing for, you know what I'm saying? Just do research, you know what I'm saying? Figure out what they like and tap into that. So that's basically learning your crowd, you know what I'm saying? A lot of DJs don't do homework. You know what I'm saying? Uh, have crates that you already did from a previous previous gig and just updated, you know what I'm saying? To your to your settings. That's what I'm saying pretty much. So that's number three. Never underjudge a crowd. Alright. Another mistake is DJs be showing the gigs late. I understand traffic and all this other stuff, but don't make it a habit, man. Stop being late to your gigs or your weddings or your private parties. Be there on time, man. Like Cause you might run into problems like speakers not speakers might not work, or you might forget some wires, or you might forget your laptop charger. That's a, that's another thing. But just make sure you on time. You know what I'm saying? Learn traffic rules. Look at your GPS. Cause I'm in Dallas, and people be having wrecks left and right, or they might take an exit away. You know, so you never know. Stuff happens. So just be prepared. Show up on time, bro. So so that's the fourth tip. Stop being late. The fifth mistake that DJs do, stop turning your gains up, bro. Your limits, that's basically what I'm saying. Like your, your trim, whatever it's called. Stop reading in the club. Cause I mean, I hear in Dallas, people be promoters, well not the promoters, the club owners will be on your ass about turn, turn the gains down, turn the trims down. So just learn how to set, do your settings right on your mixing, you know what I'm saying? Like when you DJing, Probably bring you a, a monitor. I did a video on like bringing a small monitor. Cause sometimes you can't hear in the club. You have to use headphones or you gotta have a monitor to hear your mixes. So I gotta feel it sometimes. But I learned a long time ago, like you don't wanna blow nothing out cause they're, they're gonna be on your ass. You don't wanna blow no speakers out. You don't want 
mess nothing up. You don't want to fry no boards, none of that. So just learn how to control your mixes, your gains, your trims, you know what I'm saying, your audio. So that's the fifth topic that I want to talk about. So I'm going to review it. We're going to go over it again. Five mistakes. Number one was don't get too lit, aka wasted. Number two is don't run the same mixes. Number three is never underjudge a crowd. Number four is don't be late. And number five is stop red reading the games. You don't want to see no red in the games. So that's just the five mistakes I be seeing as DJ. So just correct that, you know what I'm saying? I put that on um, something to cover. A lot of people don't talk about it. So we talking about tips, you know what I'm saying? So that's just five tips that I feel like DJs can correct and they be straight, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So with that being said, man, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell, you know what I'm saying? Hit the notifications, you know what I'm saying? Subscribers going up, more videos on the way, more tips, you know what I'm saying? So like that being said, man, I'm out. Stay positive, 2022. Show your boy some love and we out, you know what I'm saying?